Okay, so today we're going to be opening the brand new Scarlet and Violet ETBs. We've actually got both of the variants, the Crydon and the Maridon. And uh, there's some big changes actually. You now get promo cards inside ETBs as standard and they've boosted the amount of booster packs. You now get nine instead of eight. But the question is, does all this extra stuff and the fact that you now have to pay more money for these ETBs actually make them a better product to buy? Do you get better hits out of them? Well, hopefully we can find out today. So let's rip into it. Now while I get these open, I do have a question for you. Out of these two legendary forms, which one is your favorite? The Coridon or the Maridon? Let us know in the comments down below. And also, if you haven't already guys, if you like this type of content, do make sure to hit that subscribe button. Ring the alert button, help support the channel and give the video a like, it'd be very much appreciated. And here we go, we are in. Now of course, you get your little ETB book in here which outlines the sort of set and everything. For any of you that didn't know now, all of like the full art style cards and secret rares, they now actually all count as secret rares. You can see the card numbers end at like 198, I think it is in here. And then that's when you start to get like the hits you want. So you've got like these illustrator rares, special illustrator rares are in here as well, like these ones here. You have the uh, special support illustrator rares and then the gold cards that round the set out. Now, of course, I'm after kind of like these ones. These are the ones that I really want. The Miriam, don't get me wrong, that would be really nice to get, but more because of selling it if i'm honest with you guys the card's going for crazy value right now i think like 160 pounds but yeah the ones i really want would be would be like this 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 in particular these I mean, did beautiful nine booster packs we've got all the dice which fell out of their little bag we've got the new style of damage counter uh sorry condition markers there is a code card for you guys the usual pack of energies but look at this silver border energy sleeves which not too bad again like always guys if you're trying to protect your cards these aren't the sleeves that i would actually use these are more for playing and like being able to shuffle better i'd go for penny sleeves they're a bit softer less likely to potentially scratch the card look at these on the back Damn, check that out with the gold. Ooh, hoo, hoo. We have the promo card and that looks really nice. Let's go through all the packs in the first box, shall we? And see uh, see how we get on with the hits. I'm intrigued to see if we can actually get anything big. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I opened some triple blisters the other day of this. It didn't go well. I got one EX out of two triple blisters. It was not great. Let's see if we can do well. By the way, the artwork on these cards i actually love it i think the style and the design is really really cool some of them give me like a real gut heart gold soul silver era vibe which is nice now we of course have reverse rares a lot more of them and you're guaranteed a hollow per booster pack so you can't really align a lot of value to getting a hollow hit nowadays not that you could really anyway but we've got the dandini and we got there we go we got our first ex card back there now i'm gonna say i said this once i'm saying it again i like this whole star effect in it and stuff like that and i think that's cool however this sheen it's like i don't know it's washed out effects it's the card almost looks like it's been in the sun and it seems to be the case with all the ex cards or every one i've pulled so far not a big fan of that i don't know about you guys okay one pack in and uh you know hey we got a nice little hit we're gonna go a bit faster now getting through these let's see if we can actually get any big big hits in this um let's see i don't i think the big hit normally comes in this reverse slot here and uh oh very nice nice looking hollow i'm not even going to bother putting the hollow now in like the pile of cards to like show at the end of an etb you know you're going to get one per box any uh one per boost pack anyway at least so uh probably not worthwhile was doing that putting it to one side right here we go silicobra oh my god this has not been uh, very good so far, guys. I'm not going to lie. Come on. I'm expecting bigger things. I've been seeing videos of people doing like the booster boxes and the pull rates seem amazing. And I'm expecting them to be better, but I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. We're, maybe we're talking too early here. Come on. Let's see something. Well, something here. Nope. We got the reverse any. By the way, I will take a moment to appreciate how nice... The reverse is on these cards. They look better than the hollow, actually. I think I prefer the reverse over the hollows because the design, the way you get the energy symbols and stuff. Look at this with the Pokeballs in the background. The, re the reverse looks really cool. And, oh, we got the slow bro. Now, it is just a hollow, but how cool is that card? Like, I love that. Right, let's keep it going, guys. Let's hope for some big, big things. Come on, we want a big hit. 
I um, I think by the time you've watched this video, or by the time I get it up, I've already done a live stream where I've opened a bunch of these ETBs live as well and gave all the packs away. So it'll be interesting to know how I feel about it after doing that. And so far, so far not great. We need more. We need more. Give us more hits. Is there, I don't know. I really don't feel like we're flying here. As it stands, we have one EX from the first ETB. Still nothing there. And oh my word, still nothing. The professor research in there. Okay, so really, we've got, what, four, three booster packs left now. I think to make this like a decent ETB, you want to see, oh, I don't know, like one or one or two, uh, sorry, I had to do the focus. You want to see one or two bigger hits, don't you, out of this. Uh, let's see. Come on. Okay, right. So we got one of our first illustration rares. And they are shiny. Like, they are really shiny compared to trainer gallery cards. Have they almost got like a, like a finish over the top of them? Almost like the EX card has. But that's the cloth. And, uh... That's pretty nice, actually. I do like that. And we've got the Amirage to finish up. Right. Second to last pack. You also notice the code cards are all the same color as well now, where they put a hollow in every pack. They don't seem to change that. Or, or am I being silly? Have I missed that? I swear they're all the same so far. Right, here we go. Come on, something else. Nothing there. Toctricity and our Meows Meowskarad. Meowskarad. Am I getting that right? Okay, last pack magic. Full art Gyarados or Arcanine. That would be very nice to see as well. They're the best full arts in this set, in my opinion. Um, obviously, the Miriam standard full art also is, is pretty good because it's got the value. But if you just want art, Growlithe, Arcanine. Oh. Gyarados and the Arcanine, they're amazing. Right, here we go. Last pack magic. Can we see something big? I think it has to be here. We have the Fido. Now, this is actually one of the illustration rares that I wanted. It's really, really cool. That one's going to go in like my all art binder. Look at the way the, um, so the whole background is shiny. And then the Pokemon is like stuck on top. Do they do the same thing with this? They kind of do. So it's almost like layered. Can you see that? The way the hollow goes behind the feature Pokemon. Right, let's see if there was anything behind it. And there was. We have a great Tusk EX. So, not bad. So, from the first ETB, guys, we got four hits. Two illustrators and two EXs. So, no big, like, big, big, like, textured hit. Hopefully, the next one. Hopefully, that one does better. So, I just opened the second ETB. And look at the state of the promo card inside. Like... Look at the angle and the shape on that thing. That is tragic. That is so bad. I think I've actually heard stories of other people opening these. And look at this. What the hell happened? Right then, pack number one of the second ETB. Are you going to make up for being damaged by actually having some decent hits inside? What do we reckon? Magmite, Flamingo, Fortress, Rocky Helmet. Come on, brushes and no, Silizar. Silizar? 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 Am I saying that? I honestly need to play the game. Uh, I've not played it at all. And I think that's probably my downfall when it comes to these gen of Pokemon. I'm almost like learning these for the first time. I just, I don't know. I wasn't excited to play it. I don't know if it's just me. Is that really bad of me to say? I don't know. Right, Bombardier. Hypno. Pretty cool artwork on that. Look at the psychic cards. That color. Is it because it's not got a yellow border? Is it me? Or does the psychic card look a lot fainter? Do a lot of the colours look more faint and washed out to you? Is that is that me? Right. Here we go. Shroomish Magmite. And wow, okay, yeah, this this is not going the best either on this ETB. We've had a pretty, pretty brutal time um, on this so far. I'm not gonna lie. Houndoom. Set a uh, uh, Breloom. Quill what what the hell? Greedent. Medicham. Oh, Bolivia. Oh, Bolivia? Is that right? We got that slow bro. It is a really nice art on that slow bro. I do like that. All right, next one up. Here we go. So far, so not good, basically, in this. Actually, extremely disappointed as it stands with the, these ETBs. Bear in mind the price has gone up. Don't know. I really don't know. I'm not sure about this so far. Right, here we go. Energy surge. And what the... Right. So we've got... One, two, three, four, five packs. And actually, across two ETBs so far, we've got four hits. 
I don't know, am I the only one feeling like these hits just don't seem great? Am I being harsh on this? I don't know, what are your thoughts on it all, guys? Let us know. Right. Here we go. Come on, can we get something? Tartricity. Tropius. Sillard. And the slow bro. we've hit that again. Hey, I, don't get me wrong. I said I like the artwork, but I don't need to have three of them now at this point, do I? Come on. Right. Next up. I really hope the opening that I'm doing live tonight goes better than, than how... Uh, or tonight, as of this video being filmed, maybe not tonight, as in... I don't know when this video is going up. It might go up the day after live or just before. I, I'm not sure. Flappy. Oh! Let's go! Okay! We actually hit one of the special illustration rares. The Iron Treads EX. The centering is atrocious. Oh my word. But, yeah, this is one of the special illustration rares. We actually hit one. So we've got it, look, 248198. Can you see the new rarity symbols down there in the bottom of the cards? You have a double gold star on there. And can you see like how glittery these are all like all arts? Even are we gonna still call them all arts? Like, I don't know, but look at that. That looks beautiful. It right, so as it stands, we've had one hit from this ETB. Don't get me wrong, it was a special illustration where it was cool, but still, come on, one hit. We gotta like see, I don't know, a full art EX, or even, you know, the Arcanine, or the, the Arcanine, I keep wanting to say Growlithe, or the Gyarados. Oh, there we go! We got a Scobit, so we got another illustration rare in here as well, just a hollow. And again, yeah, it's got that same thing. Can you see how the hollow doesn't go over the Pokemon? It sits, almost as like the Pokemon is stuck on. On that. I'm really getting carried away with that as if it's different and I, I should really look at train again. Let me look What do you reckon? I think it's just more vivid right right two packs left. Can we get one more illustration rare? You know one more special illustration rare full art Gyarados or Arcanine. Come on. Give us something nice right here We go here we go. Come on. Are we gonna get something big? It will be behind this reverse which I do very much like on that top cell and it's the Fido And the Houndstone as well in there last pack magic guys the final one of these two ETBs What have your thoughts been on it so far me? Nah, I I'm not I know I got a special illustration rare But I think I'd be like blinded by it if I was to say it was amazing the pull rates aren't fantastic so far out of these ETBs, in my opinion. But let's see if we can get one more big hit. Maybe that will sway it, but I don't know. Right, here we go. And Brow Drowsy. And oh, we got the Coridon EX to finish up, which I swear, did they not put this as a promo card as well, this exact artwork? Or is it slightly different? Um, not 100% sure. But anyway, guys, they are the hits from the second ETB. So look, in total, we got seven hits out of this box. I think that's right. Mm, I would have personally liked to have seen a couple more, um, but I don't know. Am I being greedy? I'm not really sure. What are your thoughts on this, guys? What do you think to the pull rates on these ETBs? Do you think they're that good? I'm a little bit on the fence about them. I think maybe I'd go for triple blisters or booster boxes still over ETBs. Now I've got... I don't, know, I don't know. What What about you guys? Let me know all your thoughts and everything in the comments down below. Other than that though, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure you have hit that subscribe button down there so you don't miss more upcoming content, live streams, giveaways, and all that. Check out some of my videos up here. Stay safe. See you in the next one. Peace.